all right hello everyone and peace of the lord again to all of you please invite your friends we just started a new podcast for today uh, one of you asked me before uh, to talk about the shia and he said each time he speak to the shia uh, he mentioned some hadith they say to him well this is sunni we don't believe in the sunni hadith so uh, you know he said can we talk about the shia so let us see what the shia teach the first thing I notice about when, uh, when especially when Sunni they speak about the Shia, as an example here, in the screen in front of us, there's an article. It's called "Ridiculous Shia Hadith," and this is supposed to be Muslim speaking. Uh, it says here, from Muhammad and Ahmad, from 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 from. It says, they ask, they ask. Narrated by Ahmad, blah 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 blah, from uh, Ibn uh, Talib, from uh, blah 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 blah. They ask him about the earth and what it is it lies upon. It been respond upon the whale, and he said that the whale is been respond or he swim responded swim in the water, and he asked, and what water? It being said, responded, placed on a on on a mountain, and he asked, and what that mountain? It being respond, placed in a straight bull ho, bull horn. He asked, and what is the bull? It being responded, stand on the sand. He asked, and what that sand? It was responded, that this idea is being lost among ulama which means we do not know an answer for it so here the muslim sunni they are making fun of the shia saying how in the world you believe in this garbage i mean what ball what wheel what horn of a ball but the ignorant they forgot that this is something in the in the muslim books too you see this is why there is a problem you know the Muslims they don't know what is in their books so they make fun they make fun of you they make fun of Shia Shia make fun of Sunni for very simple reason all of them they are ignorant they do not know what is in their books the exact statement you see here in the book of Shia this is in the Sunni books too who said to you that the Sunni don't believe in the same garbage who is the one say to you that your Sunni, you don't have the same teaching. If we go to the chapter of noon, we will find the same. So the first thing you notice about uh, the Sunni uh, Shia argument, each one of them, he throw rocks at each other because both of them, they are ignorant about the each other. And they remind me actually of Christians too. Christians, uh, Catholic and Protestant, they throw rocks at each other because both of them are ignorant about what Catholic is about and what Protestant is about. And if you are deceived by a priest, then you throw rocks at your brother in Christ. Those are the kingdom of the devil divided. You are divided for what reason? Because you follow a priest. Ignorance is a problem. When somebody do not have a knowledge, and he decide to teach you what you expect from your from this person to teach you what exactly outcome of such a teacher i guarantee you nothing but stupid If we go to Tafsir al Quran, let us do that. And we go to chapter 50. And we try to understand. 
actually let us go to chapter not Qaf let us go to chapter noon this is chapter Qaf <coughs> We will find the story is exactly the same as here. I don't know what why the the website froze. Here we go. Finally, we go to. Let us go to. Every chapter in the Quran have a fiction story and have a stupid story and all, always we learn something funny and something stupid uh, Let us see where we can find some reference about that. We have a chapter of noon uh, well, Quran, uh, you know, let us go to first uh, Let us go to 68 You see the Shia, the Sunni, they were making fun of the Shia, right? And they were saying ridiculous Shia hadith about the whale carrying the earth and the ball and etc. This is not Shia, this is Sunni now. We are in the Sunni garden of hadith. So they can say this is Shia stupid thing. And as long the Muslim Sunni agree that the Shia have a stupid story like that, as we saw you showed you in the in the other page, if you remember. Then they have to agree that the same stupid story exists in their Quran and both of them Shia and Sunni agree about this And from his narration the authority of Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad and he said Regarding the invitation of Allah saying noon, noon he says Allah swear by the noon which is the wheel that carry the earth on its back while in the water and beneath which is the ball and under the ball is the rock and under the rock is a dust and none knows what is under the dust save Allah. This is in total agreement with the hadith of the Shia. When they ask him about the sand, this is a translation. They ask him about the dust. What is under the dust? They said, we do not know. If we go here to the Shia hadith, read with me carefully. Narrated, narrated, okay. They ask him about the earth, what it lies upon. It being responded, which means the answer is upon the whale. And he asked, What is the whale? He says, It's responded, It's swim in the water. He asked, And what water? He said, It's uh, 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 it is on the mountain. And uh, uh, he asked, What mountain? He said, Responded, The place is straight uh, bull, bull horn. The mountain is a, is a bull, bull horn. <laughs> and then he asked, What the what uh, what is that ball? It was responded, The stand on the sand. He asked, what is the sand? He says, nobody knows. Exactly the same story here. They stop with the stand and says, we do not know what is behind the, the, the sand. So when the Sunni laugh at the Shia is the same as a camel laughing at his brother back and who is a camel like him. He, he laughed at him and says, look at your back. <laughs> your back have something big in the top of it. Look funny, look stupid. <laughs> but you do not know that he is a camel too. And he have the same back. All right. So as long the Shia and the Sunni agree that this is ridiculous, well, Islam is ridiculous then, because this is Quran, and this is interpretation of the cousin of Muhammad, who Muhammad said that Allah He pray Muhammad He pray for this man to be the person who can give interpretation for the Quran. Right. Otherwise, Muslims they have to admit that Muhammad the prayer did not work. Why Muhammad he prayed that Allah may Allah make this man Habrul Habrul Ummah, which means he is the ink of a scholarship. He is the one who is going to explain the Quran. And then here the story continue, and showing us that Islam is nothing but fictions. The name of the whale is Lewish. This is not Lewish Farrakhan. This is different Lewish. Lewish Farrakhan is different whale. And it said that the name of the, uh, uh, the its name is 
Lotaya, and the name of the ball is Bahamut, and some they say it is uh, Terahut or Leona. The whale is in the sea, it's called Adwad, and it's like a small ball in a huge sea. The sea is in a Hollywood rock where whereby there is 4,000 cracks, and from each crack, water spring come out from the earth. It's also said that the noon is was one of the name of the Lord. Here we go. We start with noon as the name of a whale, and we ended that the noon it might be one of the names of Allah. So the Shia and the Sunni they are laughing at each other, but both of them they have a lot of madness. Now let us go to some Sunni Shia. As long today we decide to speak about Shia. Uh, what will happen? Let us uh, see some hadith. We cannot show everybody. I mean everything stupid. Uh, you know we will select some of stupid things. Actually, I can't find something smart to show anyway, you know. Uh, let us see this hadith. I'm trying to find something in English. Mm, Looks like we will have difficulty. All right, this is the book of Biharul Anwar, value number 55, page number 34. Speaking about an angel, and this angel is very special. It's reported from Jafar ibn Muhammad and Abi, from his grandfather, peace upon him, that he said, that in the throne of Allah, there is a statues of what Allah He created on the earth or in the sea. And this is the explanation where Allah He says, from everything we have a copy of it. And He's right. I mean, this is stupid in the Quran. How in the Quran we say, from everything we created, we have a copy of it. So the Muslims they are trying, those are the Shia, trying to, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, trying to understand how Allah says such a thing. There's nothing, this is in chapter 15, verse number 21, there's nothing we created, but we have a likeness of it. Let us go to the Quran. So you will notice that the Shia and the Sunni, both of them, they come with the stupid things because the Quran itself is very confusing and very stupid. How Allah, he says, nothing we created except we have a copy of it within us. But is it treasures or with us? There's nothing we created, nothing of what you have, but we have the like, you know, here we have, a, um, Allah, he have a warehouse. Of everything we have in earth, he have it in the warehouse, and he send it down <clears throat> when it's time. If you change the translator, you will see how the translation change. It's a miraculous. Let us go to uh, Yusuf Ali. And there's not a thing but its source and the treasure are with us. But we only send down, therefore, in do and measure, you know, like in, in the in desire. So 
the Quran claim that Allah he have a warehouse and from that warehouse Allah he sent down in measure what we have and from everything we have he have the same there now we go and we see what the Shia is saying in their hadith <clears throat> it says and uh, and this is the explanation of chapter 15 verse number 21 as they are quoting the verse for us without quoting the number and they says and between the list uh, and between the the one of the legs of the throne of Allah and the other legs of the throne of Allah uh, there is a distance of the bird to fly which is 1000 year and the throne of Allah is going to be covered every day by 70,000 light made of color no one can see it from those who Allah he created and all those things is created in the throne are in a circle which is in a space like in the sky and Allah and for Allah he have an angel his name is Khurqail. Khurqail. He have 18,000 wings. And between every wing and the other wing is 500 years distance. And one day he thought of a thought. He said to himself, if there is something upon the throne, if there is something, the angel himself asking me, who, who is upon the throne? Who is upon? He cannot see it, you know? And because of that, Allah increased the number of his wings to double, which means now 18 plus 18. So, so Allah, he made, because he thought he was over the throne, Allah, he increased the size of his wings and he made them 36,000 wing. Between the wing and the other one is 500 years. And then Allah inspired the angel and he told him, this angel, his name is Khurqail. Oh angel, fly. And then the angel, he fly. In the distance of, of 20,000 years. And he did not arrive to the head of the, uh, like the leg of the, of the chair, what do you call it? Like you have, you know, you have four legs, right, for the chair. So, Allah he told him fly the the, the angel he is he's wondering what is above the throne so Allah increase him by the number of wings that will make him go supposedly fly faster so he gave him instead of 18,000 he doubled it he make it 36,000 and then he Allah he told the angels fly to see fly up so the angel start flying and then after 20 years of flying he did not arrive to the top of the leg and then Allah increased the size of his uh, 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 his wings and the size of his strength. Next page. <clears throat> and then he ordered him, and he did the fly again for thirty thousand years, and he did not arrive anywhere after thirty thousand years of flying. So Allah inspired him, says to him, "If you fly." And the trumpet is going to be uh, playing with your wings and your strength. You did not even arrive to the leg of my uh, my throne. And then the angel he gave up. He says, "Praise be to Allah." Uh, you know, like he he gave up. The angel he gave up. That's it. All right. And then here, actually, <clears throat> uh, the Muslim Sunni they make fun of this hadith. But the same hadith is exist in the Shia in the in the Sunni. Uh, this is this is Shia book, right? But the same hadith is exist for the Sunni. Actually, this is in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, if because here it says that call a Jazrawi a Jazri uh, that there is eight angels or there there is uh, eight uh, uh, goats carrying the throne of Allah. All right, and the Quran says, "وَيَحْمِلُ عَرْشُ رَبُّكَ فَوْقَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ ثَمَانِيَةٌ." And the Quran says. That in that day, eight will carry 
the throne of Allah. But this is in the Quran anyway. I mean, this is not only Shia or Sunni. And if we read the interpretation, we will find the same story. In the Muslim uh, translation, they say, and the angels will be on the side or, and eight. Okay, well, it doesn't say, it doesn't say uh, what what kind of angels they are here. But if we go and read the interpretation, we will see it says that they are goats, eight goats, you know. Uh, let us go and see in the hadith. And now we are going to the Sunni. Because as long as the Muslim Shia, the Sunni is making fun of the Shia. Here we go. As you see, this is Sunni too. So you notice in Muslim websites for the Sunni, they make fun of the Shia because, and by the way, the one who made those articles making fun of the Shia, they are sheikhs. The, the Sunni who is making articles about the Shia, they are funny, stupid, they believe in such a garbage. They are sheikh. So they are what kind of sheikh they are? They are shaky one. They don't know that this is Sunni too. Here we go. This is Sunni hadith. Muhammad, he says, he look at the sky and he said, do you see what is that? What is that called? They said, we do not know. He said, Al-Muzan. And they said to him, okay, what is Al-Muzan? He said, Muhammad, he make up a word, by the way. He, he make he make them up. This guy, he fabricate. Like, you know, uh, let, let us say you are working with me, and I say to you, do you know what is that? Just, he tried to, like, to uh, like uh, to show off that he knew. So he fabricate words. Nobody heard of it before. So he said, do you see what is that? They said, what is that? Do you know what they call? They said, what? what? They said, al-muzan. Okay, what muzan? And what is muzan? He said, al-anan. Okay, what Al-Anan? <laughs> and here Muhammad, he started giving his own fabrication of words he created just in a second ago. He said, Anan, Abu Dawood says, I am not quite confident about word Anan. He said, I ask, do you know the distance between the heaven and the earth? They replied, we do not know. He said the distance between them is 71, 72, 73 years. The heaven which is above it is at a similar distance. Okay. And then he says, above the seven heavens, there is a sea. The distance between whose uh, surface and the bottom is, or the bottom is, like the between the one and the heaven and the other, which means the same as the previous one. And then he says, and above there, above that, there is eight mountain goats. The distance between their hoofs is and bunches is a like of a distance between the heaven and the next. And then Allah, the blast, is above them. So the Shia, the Sunni, they are making fun of the Shia, saying that Allah in the top of eight goats, but your prophet Muhammad, your Sunni, he's saying the same. Do you see it? So they make fun of each other, but the fact they have the same garbage, you know, Shia and Sunni, it is two faces of one coin. And the Quran confirm. So those angels in the Quran are not really angels, are goats. Or let us say they are angels in the form of goats. So why you Muslim you say Santa Claus is fake? Hmm? And by the way, Santa Claus is not fake. He's a real person. Absolutely he is. Like for sure, people, they um, added like fiction stories. He come from the chimney for kids. But is Santa Claus is a real person? Yes, he is. He is a real person. He is existing in history. 
as a person who will be known by his first name, last name, where he lived, what town, even his house. So they make fun, the Sunni, they make fun of the Shia, and the Shia, they make fun of the Sunni, but at the end of the day, both of them, they share the same stupid stories. Let us show another example. All right. The Muslim Sunni, they make fun of a hadith. And again, we are mentioning the, the, the reference one by one. The book of Al Kafi, this is a Shia book, a Shaykh Al Kilani, a very number one, page number 388, as we see in the screen. All right. Now, what this hadith here is speaking of? That when somebody uh, from from the family of Muhammad is born, how people who they are from the family of Muhammad are born? They are born in a certain way. They are different from anyone. As an example, all the family of Muhammad when they are born, they are circumcised by Allah already. So they, when they are born, they don't do circumcision. All right, let us read together. <clears throat> when his when his mother she gave birth to him, she gave birth to him, and he was sitting, and his eyes open, and he did not came out, and his legs crossing each other, or he turned back after he fell down in the ground, and he never missed the direction of Mecca. The, the child, the baby, he's an infant; he's just born. Okay, he. Like he's, he, he's born, he came down from his mother, he sat in his ass right away. Okay? He never missed the direction of, of, uh, of uh, the Kaaba. And he used to sneeze three times. And each time he sneezed, he pointed his finger up, saying, thank you, Allah. And he is so happy. <laughs> so, you know, that's the Hachu, three times a day. A trinity. And he was circumcised, uh, and his ass, uh, uh, no, I think here they are speaking about his penis, the, 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 the head of his penis. Look, uh, is different. Yeah, I don't know how to, how to translate this one. So he was, he was, uh, he, he, he was circumcised and then in the top of that his ass uh, well, actually no I think here they mean by Ruba Yeto I think they are talking about uh, his teeth oh hold on yeah so he was born circumcised and his teeth from the top to down and I do not know what they mean. I mean, uh, he, like his his uh, his front teeth are different from others. Like he, they are coming from the top to down. It's not like others from down to the top. I don't know what does that mean. I, we need the we need a Shia Sheikh to explain to us what does that mean. Uh, uh, and when he uh, he smile, the two what they call them in English those uh, the two teeth which is like the same as a tiger. You know, tiger have like a, or a cat have like a long uh, in the front like for us as a human we have them short like a dracula you know what i mean so those are when he when he smile it's the same as a, a, a as a um and like ounce of gold okay same as ounce of gold light coming from it in the day and the night uh and during the night his hands leak gold during the night his hands leak gold uh, the same as the prophets when they are born they are born like this okay so now this is a Shia hadith let us see
from Ali ibn Muhammad from the some of the companion they say that from Abi from 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 Abi Jafar Imam Abu Jafar he said the the 12 Imam have a sign all he will born will be born and he is circumcised and he failed if he fell down in the earth he fell in his ass and when he fell in his ass he right away he say shahada that there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad and he he will never get dirty from orgasm which means he will have orgasm but he will not need to do evolution his eyes sleep but his heart never sleep he never do yawning and he never do stretching like for his body and he can see what is behind him same time he can see what is in front of him and his fart is the same as musk as a smell and the same as uh, you know his and the and the ground you know eat his poo, poo but isn't it, this is what the hadith in the sunni it says that the prophet when he do poo, -poo the earth swallow the poop of the prophet and his ass and his uh, and his poop and his uh, his piss smells so good let us see I need to turn the light on Here you notice that the, the, the Sunni and the Shia, they are making fun of each other, but they have the same garbage. I mean, it's just exactly the same. Uh, let us find the Hadith, the Sunni Hadith about that. And Muhammad himself, he was circumcised by Allah, supposedly, according to Muslims. So it's the same. Why you are laughing at the Shia? Let us see here. All right. This is the book of At-Tabaqatul Kubra for the Sunni. It says the following. At-Tabaqatul Kubra, Ibn Sa'ad, very number one, the biography of the Prophet, or the, uh, yeah, the prophethood. And this is page number 141, as you see in the screen. All right? It says, reported from Aisha, from um, um, uh, Umm Sa'ad, عن عائشة, she said, قلت, يا رسول الله, تأتي الخلاء فلا يرى منك شيء من الأذى. Oh, Messenger of Allah, you go out to do shit, but there's no shit left behind you. Are you, are you listening to Muslim Sunni? You are making fun of the Shia? Listen to this. Oh, Messenger of Allah, you come to do shit, and we see no shit left of you. He says to her, Oh, don't you know, O oh Aisha, that the ground is swallow what come from the uh, from from the from the prophet, and nobody can see anything of it. Do you see it? So they are making fun of the Shia. They have such a stupid hadith about that the Imam, the Mahdi, when he shit, the ground eat his shit, and he swallow his pee. But this is the same Muhammad he said that to Aisha. I mean, do you notice here the hypocrisy of both the group? They make fun of each other, saying this is stupid, and this has always happened because both are ignorant. They do not know. What is written in their own books? Let me see if I can find this hadith in English. I doubt it, but we will try. No. 
they will not translate such a thing yeah but as you see this is this is your Islamic web you know uh, book this is the book of at al Kubra, the Ibn Sa'd, volume number one, page number 144. And we are not making things up. So why you make fun of the Muslim Shia believing in such a garbage? And you Muslim Sunni, I challenge you to tell me, when Muhammad was circumcised, isn't it the Quran says Muhammad was, uh, uh, let us say, what? lead to the conclusion that he was circumcised and if we ask right now any Muslim when Muhammad was circumcised they have no answer all the Muslims they say there's all there's options mostly either Allah circumcised him or the angels but uh, they claim that he is circumcised but he never been circumcised I am going to open my Skype in a minute just to give a chance to the Muslim Abdul to call us if they are Shia or Sunni it doesn't matter as you see the same stupid stories exist in both uh, sect <coughs> but I have to admit <coughs> that the Shia they have like way beyond stupidity sometime I mean it's really so crazy all right. Let us see if we have any Sun, any Muslim trying to call us. Hello. Yes, my friend. Uh, good, uh, good, good afternoon, my friend. My can you is... can you mute uh, your YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I can. I can wait. Okay. Hello. Yes. Uh, my English is not so good. All right. Yes, my I have a question for you. All right. My my left feet is uh is broken. Mm -hmm. I cannot uh low, uh stay on my feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, one friend uh, say go go to uh, mosque read for Allah. Uh, other friends say to go to Christian. Uh, my, my question is for you: What what is the best uh, of God that I can, can uh, go? Oh, what best God? Yes, yes. But uh, another friend, give me mm. your, your Skype. Okay. And, uh, well, I I think you have to come to me, and then I will spank you, and then you will run like crazy. What do you think? You do not need God, my friend. You need somebody to spank you because you are being silly, and being stupid. What does this have to do with God? Stupid idiot. So if some if my if my leg is broken, I wait for God to fix it. Silly stupidity. I, I hope you will not get married one day because your children will suffer from stupidity. Imagine you have a you have a silly father like this. All right. I mean, these uh... are <laughs> come to me. I will teach you how to run. Why somebody told you that God he opened a clinic to be and your nurse? What does that mean? I mean, how silly you are. What about somebody he cannot walk at all, or he's born like this? Which God is better to go to? Supposedly, this is an atheist uh, propaganda. And which, uh, and you as an atheist, what do you do? What What is the solution for this now? Okay, you don't believe in God, no problem. The God of the Christian, the God of the Jews, the God of the Hindus cannot help you. What you do? You go to the doctor, right? And then the doctor, he will fix your leg. Uh, doctors, they die every day. Me, myself, I go to doctors only if I know that it is like, that's it. There's nothing I can do. My body cannot resist something happening. But 
my experience with doctors they are not really doctors they train on you you are like a mice for them you go and he give you uh, uh, a medicine he says try this come to me after a few days and they say to you come to me after a few days because they want to charge you more not because really you need to come and then you come after a few days and you say oh, I now I feel like I'm getting dizzy he says oh don't worry now be, this is because of the drugs okay so the drugs you gave me will make me sick in something else so he gave me a drug will supposedly fix the first problem but now we have another problem if you watch any commercial about drugs in TV, they say to you that they speak fast. These drugs are going to cause heart problem, internal bleeding, blood, brain, brain. Please see your doctor before you buy it. You scared the hell of me. Why want to buy the drug? This is a disclaimer. So, like later, if something happened to you, so where is the drugs? There's no medicine these days. It's a lie. And there's no doctors these days. They try things on you. I I can say like doctors can help if you have an urgent surgery like you have something explode in your uh, You know what they call it. I mean that I forgot what, what the name in English So there is like certain things they can do uh, somebody maybe heart problem. They can expand the uh, the vein where the blood is going uh, They can help but is really do we have real medicine? No, we don't Can doctors make hands for you? Or fake hands so why you're asking from God to do for you what you cannot do do okay do, do you not need God do it yourself God did not create us and says I'm going to open a clinic for you when you need something I'm going to grow a leg for you he never promised that you speaking about as long there's no Muslims to call I'm going to quit Skype and we go back to the stupidity which mentioned in the hadith of the Shia versus the stupidity of the hadith of the Sunni. All right. <clears throat> the Imam Al Mahdi, if he wear the clothes of the Prophet or any of the clothes of the family of the Prophet. Is going to be changed and become in his size even if it is one foot longer or shorter okay what does that mean I don't know if any of you watch uh, the green man Hulk whatever they call them I mean in TV you see all those transformer the green guy uh, I don't know what they call him he, he extend his shirt extend I mean he he ripped his short and the shirt and he became big so this guy here, when he wear the clothes of any of the family of the prophet, the, the clothes of the family of the prophet, including the prophet's clothes, their size changed to fit with him. So if he is shorter than the prophet, the clothes will get smaller to fit him. If he is taller than the prophet, the clothes will get bigger to fit with him. And that is going to be the same until the last time of like until until the end of the judgment day how Allah created the body the physical body of the imma the the the, uh, uh, the 12 Imams of the Shia uh, what about their spirit what about their hearts may Allah uh, have peace on them they said <clears throat> that Allah he created us from high above and he created our spirit from above and he created the spirit of the Shia from above and he created the body from 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 uh, uh, from lower lower level which means the the Imams of the Shia their body their spirit uh, uh, everything about them is created from high above in the sky and then the Shia they are created the same but the lower level of the heaven they are not from the same level uh, and then they continue Allah he created us from the light of his greatness and he uh, picture us or let us say he made us in an image uh, from a mud which is stored underneath the throne Allah he have a store a storage of uh, mud under the throne of Allah and this is where he created the children's of 
Muhammad. And as we know, Muhammad have no children. This is a fiction. Muhammad supposedly have four daughters, but the fact none of them is his daughter, including Fatima. Those are the daughters of Khadija. However, so Ali is supposed to marry from Fatima, and we see now the, because they think that Fatima is the only real daughter of Muhammad. So the Shia they focus only in Fatima. And Ali he married from Fatima, and Ali is the cousin of Muhammad. So now we have a family to worship. We have Muhammad, we have Fatima, we have Ali, and then we have their children. So how Allah created this family, created them from a mud, exist and at the throne of Allah. And Allah, he put a light in it. Let us move it to this different page here. Okay. So Allah, <clears throat> and Allah, he put inside that, uh, mud he created light from his light which mean they themselves later they will become light for mankind and then he says and uh, when Allah he created them nobody have such uh, let us say structures of mud or nature of mud except the prophets and this is why we and them which mean we and the prophet this is the family of Muhammad we became and all the man all the human they are savage to the fire you know all a human they go to save they are savage to the fire but not the family of Muhammad for they are made from a special mud and they are made from the light of Allah uh, and look here what it says <clears throat> it's reported from uh, the Caliphate Amirul Mu'mineen that Allah in Allah Nahran Aduna Arshihi Allah He have a river under His throne, and next to the river, uh, uh, which is under the throne, there is the light, and the light is light of Allah, and the two edge of the river there is two spirit. One is called the Holy Spirit, and the other one is called a spirit from His command. And Allah, uh, 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 Allah have ten uh, a group of mud, five from heaven, and five from earth. So Allah, He have like uh, a containers full of mud, ten of them. Five containers are 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 coming from heaven, and five containers are the source of them is from the earth. All right. Uh, and then he says and there's no prophet or angel after him he made him except from one of those two spirit either the Holy Spirit or the spirit of command and he made the prophet peace be upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sorry Allah pray on him and salute him and his family from one of those two mud and I said to uh, uh, to my father al Hassan uh, and what is the mount which Allah created us uh, from he says Allah he created us from ten mount of mud and he breathed into us from the two spirit this is why we have the best spirit between mankind I mean, if we, we can keep reading, all of it is stupidity, fictions, madness. This is uh, this is the Shia. But the Sunni are not better. The Sunni have the same garbage. You know? Isn't it the Quran says, and if we read the interpretation, we see the Hadith. We see that Muhammad claimed that Allah said that he is a light for mankind. And this is why the Shia, they say, the Muhammad and his family, they are made of light. They are not a human like us. Why? Because the Quran confirmed that. Chapter 33, verse number 46. <clears throat>
and as a lamp spreading light who is saying that Allah about who about Muhammad so Muhammad he is the same as a lamp spreading light but the Quran describe Allah himself as a lamp too so Muhammad and Allah they have the same nature they are light they are spreading light and the Muslim they might say to you here it says as a, as a lamp but Allah he says about himself that he is as a lamp too so it's the same for Muhammad same as Allah all right uh, <coughs> If we go in the Quran, chapter 24, verse number 20, uh, 35, which is a chapter of a light, the nur, light. It says, God is the light of the heaven and the earth. The likeness of his light is as a niche, wherein is a lamp. See here it says, as, as. Now here in this verse, we have a mistake. Anyone notice? Or let us say something would destroy the idea that Allah is God. Who, who can help me here to see what is the problem in this uh, verse? <coughs> Anyone notice? This verse here, destroy Allah. Why? Because Allah is saying that he's light, right? But what is the similarity of his light? Light, his light is as a niche wherein is a lamp, and the lamp is in a glass, and the glass as it were a glittering star. Okay, by the way, it doesn't say star, it says coca, which means plant, which is a mistake. Kindled from the blessed tree, an olive that is neither the east nor the west, who is oil will night with shine okay so look at this if allah describe his light the same as a light in a lamp and that lamp is lighting by oil how that can be the muslim they say to us we cannot describe and we cannot compare between allah and his creation but the whole quran allah create compare between him and his creation isn't it a tree is his creation isn't it the fire his creation? Isn't it the oil his creation? And here we will find the double standard of the Muslims to avoid to answer about who is Allah. Right away, they escape and they say, we cannot compare between Allah and his creation. But why you cannot compare if Allah himself comparing himself to his creation? That because they are trying to run away forward from the question. We cannot compare. That's it. They shut you up. Hmm? Now, Muhammad described the same as the same. He is a light. The same as a light. Read the other, uh, the other verse. It says exactly the same. Muhammad, as one who is invited to Allah by his leaves and as a lamp spreading light. This is Muhammad, Allah, the same too. Allah is as a lamp spreading light. And this is why the Shia, they believe that Muhammad and his family, they used to be stars in the forehead of Allah. And then Allah decided to send them down to earth so they can spread the light of Allah. All right? Stories after stories. But you notice all those fiction stories is sponsored by the Quran and even the Hadith. Now we continue with the Shia uh, crazy stuff. Let us see what we will show you. <clears throat> Mm 
אוקיי. Let us see this hadith. See, always we try when we show, we show uh, official website because we don't want people to say, you know, where he is getting this from. Let us see this hadith here. Okay. This is the book, it's called Wasail Shia. Wasail al Shia by Al Hurru al Amili, a Sheikh Abu Jafar, volume number 12, page number 95. Speaking about sneezing, speaking about sneezing. Uh, he said, by sneezing, there is a destiny. When you sneeze, there is a destiny written for you. So if they are liars, those who sneeze, they will not receive the intercession of the Prophet Muhammad, Allah pray on him and salute him. Hadith number, very number four, Sorry, a uh, church uh, of uh, uh, four uh, hadith number one five seven three four. It says, from 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 from. He says that when Abi Abdullah alayhi salam, when he sneezed, he put his hand on the top of his nose or over his nose, and he says, Alhamdulillah Rabbul Alameen, Hamdan Kathira, praise be to Allah, uh, a lot of a praise. The same as his family, they do that, which means they when they sneeze, they do that. And Allah pray on uh, uh, on Muhammad and his uh, and the family of Muhammad. And right away when he sneezes, from his nose, from from the left uh, hole of his nose, uh, his nose, uh, uh, a bird which is yellow. Sorry, a, a bird which is smaller than loctos come out, and bigger than a fly. And this is this bird he fly all the way and he like until he established himself under the throne of Allah he keep asking Allah for forgiveness until the judgment day so each time the, fa the family of Muhammad and Muhammad he sneeze a little bird will come from the left hole of his nose and they will sneeze sorry they will go and they will uh, 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 enter the throne of Allah and they will keep asking Allah for forgiveness until the judgment day now here are the Shia, the Sunni. They make fun of the Shia, uh, of the Shia for saying that. Let us see what the what the Sunni see uh, say about sneezing. The same, but little differences. According to Muhammad, the Sunni books, Allah He loved those who sneeze. Read carefully with me. The Messenger of Allah said. The sneeze is from Allah. The sneeze is from Allah. Okay. So each time you sneeze, your sneezing is coming from Allah. As simple as that. And the yawning is from shaitan. Be careful with me. The messenger of Allah said the sneeze is from Allah and the yawn is from shaitan. So one of you yawn, let him cover his mouth with his hand. For when he says, ah, ah, hachu, shaitan love from inside his mouth. <laughs> you see, the Sunni, they laugh at the Shia and the Shia, they say the Shia, they have ridiculous hadith. But in fact, both of them, they have the same garbage. The Muslims, by the way, 
they made an article about this hadith but they they cut the second part of it they they, they look look what they, they do you can search it to yourself in Google you will find they say to you that the Prophet said when one of you he yawn look look at this look at the deception they said the Prophet said when one of you sneeze or yawn let him cover his mouth so they cover they they hide all the story about shaitan going inside your mouth to tell you that the prophet was teaching science and hygiene and how not to stop and to, to stop spreading of bacteria. you see how they lie to you they make it about medicine how the prophet he knew this do you notice how they do that <clears throat> the prophet teaching hygiene how how a prophet 1400 years ago he knew that we should cover our mouth otherwise that will spread bacteria and viruses this is what they say but in fact the story have nothing to do with bacteria and viruses the story is totally different the story is allah the sneeze come from allah the yawning come from shaitan and not only that shaitan even he pissed inside your mouth Read carefully with me. <laughs> For when he says, ah, ah, a shaitan, love in, from inside his opening. And indeed, Allah love the sneeze and he disliked the yawn. So when a man says, ah, ah, when he yawning, indeed, a shaitan love from inside his opening. So why the Shia, why you Muslim Sunni laugh at the Shia speaking about the sneezing, but you don't laugh at the Muslim Sunni yourself and your books saying such a stupid thing? So it, and we can say based on this study, Allah is excited in winter time. A lot of people have called. <laughs> hmm? Right? A lot of Muslims, a lot of people have called, and Allah is, is so happy. So why you laugh at them? <coughs> hey, take it easy, take it easy, guys. What Hamida Sadiqi? Sadiqi. Sadiqi, Sadiqi. <laughs> Hamida Sadiqi. Anyway. Always the same fiction is stupidity is all over Sunni or Shia they share the same garbage there's no difference between them 